Ladies and gentlemen, Mugs Media along with Steel, SteelDealers.com presents exclusive coverage, New Jersey State Fair, Sussex County Farm and Horse Show. And my host once again is Nicole oh, Morville. I like the ass shot better than the back slap. <laughs> Mugs, already we're starting. What's up, buddy? <laughs> Nothing much. Mugs, another year. Another, another year. year. Here we are, folks, at the fair, the opening weekend. It is just crazy here. It's packed. Uh -huh. It's hot. Right. And it feels like we never left. Right, Mugs? Like you said, it was a time warp. <laughs> it's a time warp. Folks, you walk in this place and it feels like you just, every year, it's the same thing. It's like the movie Dazed and Confused. You love that movie, Mugs. Oh, whenever it comes on, I mean, I'm in heaven. <laughs> <laughs> well, are you the nerdy guy in it? I'm the guy who gets beat up at the park. <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> that stuff really did happen in 1977 in Kenilworth and Garway, New Jersey. Every weekend, everything in that movie happened in real life. So they could have filmed it in Union <laughs> County. But anyway, I'm getting off track. We're here to talk about the fair, not 1977. <laughs> <laughs> Which was the year I was born. Okay. So Muggs, what's yes. up? How is life? Uh, well, I'm good. How about you? <laughs> <laughs> good. Lots happened. I had a baby in the uh, last yes, year. Yes, you did. Yep. I'm one of those people now. Cutie, Mugs. very cute. Yes, Jude, his little boy. I have two daughters that are much older. Wasn't planned. Right. It was a gift. Right. <laughs> you wouldn't say so. Well, <laughs> but <laughs> Jude's 13 now. What you, I'm 57 years old. I don't want a 13 year old. <laughs> That's going to be me. What do I have in common That's with me. taking two 13 year olds somewhere? <laughs> Did they laugh at me? Okay, go ahead. <laughs> so, yeah, Mugs, I have three kids now and I'm just busy like as everyone you know I, I give it I really give credit to working moms and stay-at-home moms to me there's no argument they're both difficult and I praise them both because raising children is really hard right Muggs well yeah I mean you have two good girls they're well behaved they're good students <laughs> <laughs> so I can't compare my situation to yours <laughs> Muggs it's tough but I just want to say you know we're very blessed but yeah it's been a long crazy road the last year but yeah no here we are again and with more children and more craziness in life and let's get the show going Nikki we have the opening ceremonies we're very excited tonight's the 76th anniversary the beginning of the 76th anniversary of the fair um, in addition to that we're celebrating the 80th anniversary of the horse show um, and we have some interesting things to talk about that tonight during opening ceremonies. Um, we're also tying in the fact that the fair has been on the premises here now in Frankfurt. Uh, this is the 40th year of that going on. Um, before that, the fair was, of course, over in Branchville for many years. Um, and of course moved over here 40 years ago. So those are part of the big celebrations tonight. Um, in addition to that, uh, we have a presentation of a sign that came from Dick Roy. Um, who had you know, passed away a few years ago, but his family is here with that sign. It is an original horse show sign uh, from, a, again, 80 years ago, which is, which is exciting. So all good stuff. I come every year because uh, I want to be able to experience what's so exciting and to bring greetings from the Department of Agriculture and, and, and to thank our farmers and families that, that support the fair. We talk about it every year, Sussex County, a rural area, a lot of farms. How important is that to the state? Well, it's, uh, obviously it fits into the economy uh, in, in so many different ways. Agriculture and agri-food is the third largest industry in the state when you combine all those things together. So it means jobs, it means a way of life. It's uh, on, on so many different levels. The uh, fair announcer back in 1940, Jules Marin, originated the rooster crow to open the fair. So let's open the fair. Uh, Gary Larson, fair manager, uh, first year, great guy. Uh, he's on the level of Mark Musilli when Mark managed the fair. Another great guy. Very um, uh, media friendly, appreciates the coverage. So Gary, thank you for having us here. I want to mention our sponsor, Steel, SteelDealers.com, our title sponsor. JC PL, your local uh, electric company. I live for Giro when Nick is in the commercial. <laughs> when she was young <laughs> yeah, and skinny. Yeah, but I was like, this I big. live for Giro. <laughs> we care. I think they're playing my song and that song my funeral. Actually, I, wanna, I hope they do. I want to be burned, so let them know that I want to be cremated. Oh, my. And then who else do we have? Bristol Glen, where you go to, before you go to Eiffel, Jerry. Yes, you, a wonderful Bristol. facility. Yep. I was filming a commercial there. I saw the great George Morville there. Yes, always, yes. Always great to see your father. Wonderful. And um, 
So our sponsors make this thing go, and uh, you want to hear the rooster crow, don't you? Mugs, it wouldn't be, it wouldn't be the That's fair right. without it. I just did it. Great. I just scared that lady. <laughs> People are looking at him like, what are we doing already? <laughs> They're looking at you, Mugs. Yeah. So Mugs, I understand that um, there was a uh, the Creative Arts for Home and Hobby Chopstick Knitting. Yeah, What's that's uh, it's a knitting competition. No nice. better person to cover that than Dan Cleary. <laughs> A few years ago, I went to the um, Rhinebeck Sheep and Wool Festival, and it was kind of a fun thing that they had, and it was a speed contest of how many rows you could do, 10 stitches in 10 minutes, and uh, it was just a fun thing, and you're knitting on chopsticks, so we decided that we would bring it here as just a fun activity during the fair. So we're actually running it today, 3 o'clock, uh, Wednesday, 3 o'clock, and uh, Sunday. I just wrote it down, Sunday, Sunday, Wednesday, and today. Now, for someone that's not familiar with it, can you give us a little detail exactly what you guys do with the chopsticks? Sure. We already cast on stitches. Uh, casting on is when you put the stitches on the needles, and we're just using the chopsticks instead of knitting needles. So it's, uh, it's a little bit more difficult just because they don't have a point, so you go a little bit slower and... Uh, so whoever enters would just knit for as quickly as they can any stitch they want for 10 minutes and then we count up the rows and we have first, second, third prizes that we're giving out. Ellen, just talk about winning this competition. Oh, uh, this is a lot of fun. I'm, I, I won something at the fair. <laughs> but cancer. you do. Yeah. I will. <laughs> Let's mention what define how you define knitting. Sparta Cancer said, you open that one up. JCP and L, uh, Isla Frigiro, and our title, title sponsor, SteelDealers.com. Right, yes. Nikki? So let's take a break. Real people, steel people. From full time professionals to weekend warriors, they trust steel and servicing steel dealers. Right now, hardworking steel blowers start at $139.95. And legendary steel chainsaws start at $179.95. Find your steel dealer at steeldealers.com or search STIHL. Real people, steel people. Join us. Senior living has never been better. Bristol Glen is now United Methodist Communities and the residents love living there. I enjoy the people. I really like the staff who work here. They're friendly, they're, they're kind, they're always ready to help when you need help, uh, and I feel safe here. I have enjoyed my living here. It's been a home away from home. United Methodist Communities is a proud sponsor of the Mugs Media coverage of the New Jersey State Fair, Sussex County Farm and Horse Show. For more information, visit umcommunities.org or call 973-300-5788. Sparta Cancer Center, the only advanced oncology center in Sussex County. The Sparta Cancer Center is able to provide uh, comprehensive cancer services to anybody who has been diagnosed with cancer. And the key is that we offer these services to the local community so that people don't have to travel far to get excellent comprehensive care. The most satisfying, I would say, is really just seeing the patients through the treatments and then seeing them when they come back fully recovered and basically leading their normal lives and getting back to the way they were before all this started. Sparta Cancer Center. 89 Sparta Avenue, Suite 130. Treated right here. When the power goes out, many of us rely on cell phones. At JCPNL, we've added new tools to help you stay connected. We now offer text messaging, alerts, a smartphone app, and mobile website. Use text messaging to view your account balance, report an outage, or check the status of an outage. Visit our 24-7 power center for outage information in your town or log into your account. Don't wait for the next storm. Sign up now to receive alerts. To learn more, visit jcp-l.com slash connect. Where dedication is a tradition, a helping hand in a time of need. The family that's brought you comfort, 
Welcome back, folks, to Channel 10's exclusive coverage here at the Sussex County Farm and Horse Show, New Jersey State Fair, the one and only. We are here, Nikki Morville, along with my buddy, my pal, this old guy over here. He's still here, guys. Every year he says he's not gonna be. Every year he comes back. <laughs> Every year we think he's gone. I don't know if he's gonna pass. Well, I just spread my ashes all over here. We don't know if he's gonna quit, <laughs> yeah. but he's here. Thank you. So mugs. Yeah. Ooh, I hear some thunder mugs. We gotta get going. Yeah. Uh, the horse show area, always a good story, right? Because a lot of stuff goes on over yep. there, right, buddy? Yeah, and Dan Cleary loved covering this story. Let's take a look. <laughs> This is uh, one class of our quarter horse show. It's the Western Pleasure class, and the judge is evaluating the horse's uh, performance more than the rider, its movement. And um, it's one of about 137 classes that we're offering at this show, and we have about 10 people in this class. And um, all total, we have about 300 entries throughout the course of today and tomorrow for the quarter horse portion of the show. Now, you mentioned it's more about the horse than the rider. What do the judges look for? Uh, they're looking for the horse to be moving naturally and in accordance with the standards set by the association, which is the largest breed association in the, in the nation. So um, it's really about their movement and their confirmation and how they match the ideal. And take us through uh, what they have to go through as the judges are looking. Obviously, they're out here in the main ring, but what do they go through? Um, in this particular class, which is um, more what we would call a rail class, the horse is going to do uh, three gates, the walk, the trot, the canter. So the judge is evaluating how the horse goes at each of those gates. And then, you know, again, their willingness, their expression, do they seem like they like their job? Um, so it's uh, a pretty simple class in that it's just both directions, walk, trot, canter, and they stop and back. Okay. All right, good story there. Dan, you got a book signing with oh, Elizabeth Rogers. She's from Sparta. She writes children's books. Oh, yeah. Uh, which your daughters will be glad to read. Uh, yes, my daughters, big readers. My they girls. Are? Oh, Lola Jeez. finished like a 700 page novel called Fable Haven. That's amazing. I don't get it. You know what Gina read this summer? What? Nothing. Not a thing. <laughs> Mugs, make her read. <laughs> I, well, you know what you should do is reward. 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 Get yeah, a job. Hugs That's your reward. <laughs> you get plenty of hugs and kisses. Get a job. You Mugs. <laughs> Mugs. All right. So Elizabeth Rogers, that was a good story. You covered it? Yes. He's a local author. And here's the interview. I've always been interested in young people and 4-H's, young people. My life has been spent very much in children's literature, children's athletic in sport. I was involved uh, with the town there for 20 years in the Recreation Commission. So this is all part and part of my interest in young people. Just talk about this book, A Carrot for Billy, one in a long line of books that you've written. Well, this particular one, you know, you get an idea, it buzzes around in your head, and uh, it just seems so appropriate, this book, uh, to come to the 4-H and say, hey, would you like uh, to sell this? And the poster, as you see up above, is part of the book. It's a four-page gatefold in the center of the book, and it's just very apropos of a state fair and 4-H. How did you get into doing children's literature? I'm a graduate of Glasgow School of Art, Glasgow University, mm -hmm. and I did postgraduate work um, on children's literature, and that's where my interest in young people started, and it's all, my whole life has been in this area, young people, the betterment of young people. Now, if someone wanted to order your books, do you have a website or, or somewhere? You can give everyone the information in case they can't make it here. Well, uh, my website is Lilibet Books. It's a small publishing company, lilibetbooks.com. Uh, L I W -L, L I B E double -T, T books plural dot com. I had my first job at 13, you know that? I worked at the fruit stand for my uncle. Did you really work or you just. I worked! Okay. <laughs> there you go. You didn't do it. I worked! Mercedes at 16. <laughs> I worked! <laughs> Come on. I was blessed with the good things, but I always worked for the mugs. Uh huh, okay. <laughs> sure, go on. I'm okay, I know you're a hard worker. George told me you were a hard worker. I so was a hard worker. All but right. It's time to get a job, though, when you're 13, though. Yeah, okay. I agree. Yep, absolutely. Right, something. Gotta, gotta yeah, do she, something. Well, bus she, table. She did a bus table at Cosme. I already hooked her up with Pour some water. Yeah, yeah, yeah get good. a job. It's time. <laughs> <laughs>
All right, <laughs> right Mike. Our sponsors, JCPNL, Isla Frigero, Bristol Glen, Sparta Cancer Center, and our title sponsor once again, we love you guys in Connecticut, steeldealers.com. Don't forget to check out the display here. More to come after this. Real people, steel people. From full-time professionals to weekend warriors, they trust steel and servicing steel dealers. Right now, hardworking steel blowers start at $139.95 and legendary steel chainsaws start at $179.95. Find your steel dealer at steeldealers.com or search STIHL. Real people, steel people. Join us. When the power goes out, many of us rely on cell phones. At JCPNL, we've added new tools to help you stay connected. We now offer text messaging, alerts, a smartphone app, and mobile website. Use text messaging to view your account balance, report an outage, or check the status of an outage. Visit our 24-7 power center for outage information in your town or log into your account. Don't wait for the next storm. Sign up now to receive alerts. To learn more, visit jcp-l.com slash connect. Sparta Cancer Center, the only advanced oncology center in Sussex County. The Sparta Cancer Center is able to provide uh, comprehensive cancer services to anybody who has been diagnosed with cancer. And the key is that we offer these services to the local community so that people don't have to travel far to get excellent comprehensive care. The most satisfying, I would say, is really just seeing the patients through the treatments and then seeing them when they come back fully recovered and basically leading their normal lives and getting back to the way they were before all this started. Sparta Cancer Center, 89 Sparta Avenue, Suite 130. Treated right here. Where dedication is a tradition a helping hand in a time of need. The family that's brought you comfort for over a century. I live for Gerald Funeral Home. We're here because we care. Senior living has never been better. Bristol Glen is now United Methodist Communities and the residents love living there. I enjoy the people. I really like the staff who work here. They're friendly, they're, they're kind, they're always ready to help when you need help, uh, and I feel safe here. I have enjoyed my living here. It's been a home away from home. United Methodist Communities is a proud sponsor of the Muggs Media coverage of a New Jersey State Fair, Sussex County Farm and Horse Show. For more information, visit umcommunities.org or call 973-300-5788. All right, folks, back at the New Jersey State Fair, Sussex County Farm and Horse Show. Nikki, you people watch when you come here, don't you? I, 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 I can't take my eyes off of the people. It's yeah. unreal. I like to see how many kids they have, you know, <laughs> what they're doing here. I love to see the meltdown, like oh, as a yeah. parent see someone else's meltdown and just go, thank God that's not mine. You want to see and a meltdown? Come to my house every day. There's one there every day. There's some kind but of meltdown. But you want to know what about the, the meltdown? I will say, folks, if you see a meltdown, give give the look. Like, yeah. I got you. Yeah, I yeah. know how you feel. I understand. I get it at ShopRite all the time. You know, it's that look. Like, I understand. You're, gonna be on, You're what overwhelmed. Would you, what would you do? You ever see that show? No, what's that It's one? about, they, they simulate situations. Not Channel yes, 7. yes. What would you do yes, yes. if your son's getting beat over the head <laughs> yeah, with a Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd stand there and watch. You know, people, <laughs> yeah. They make it, the, the whole thing is fixed, But what would but you do? It, exactly. Yeah, yeah. So when you're people watching at the fair, you're going to see meltdowns. You're going to see people of of every look possible yeah. and you just give the, the wave and the hello and you be kind, right? Max? I like the lady at the wine uh, place where I was tasting the wine. <laughs> Mugs? I have like a little crush on her. Mugs, you're married! Oh! oh Jerk! <laughs> Alright, next story. <laughs> Folks, the farmer's market. <laughs> People love this, all right? All the fresh produce. Those are pretty hard punch, all the, You wuss. <laughs> yeah. All the fresh fruit, mugs. You enjoy the, the, the farmer's market? It was, yes, it was very nice. <laughs> they have good corn there, you know. Yeah, did you do the story? Oh, Dan Cleary did the story. All right, folks, Dan Cleary's story on the farmer's market. 
And at the Sussex County Farmers Market, we have a variety of different um, items to, you can choose from, anywhere from pottery to fiber goods to your vegetables to canned goods. We have a lot of Jersey fresh products from peach cider to salsa to honey and a lot of herbs and flowers as well. And just talk about nowadays people are so uh, uh, um, worried about the uh, environment and stuff like that and they want to be healthy. Talk about how healthy this is. With the environment and people wanting to be healthy, there's, um, in my opinion, there's actually a big difference between people um, being conscious about the environment and being conscious about being healthy. In order to be healthy, you need to have a healthy environment. So if you come and you help your lo support your local farmer who are trying to make a conscious effort in trying to preserve our environment in order to be able to farm in the future is really helping ensure that the environment is uh, preserved for future generations to come and that the future generations to come are healthy. We have a story on tribute to the troops. We met a longtime chaplain from this area. He served in Vietnam and uh, he, he worked with a young man who was injured. Uh, his, his, his helicopter was shot down and they met each other after 43 years. Two heroes. Yeah, so let's check this out. Being a helicopter pilot and being, and when he was, I saw him and he said, I do not believe in God. I'm not going to argue with him, especially when he's in, in the hospital and they're going to be operating on him. I waited for that, for the occasion. And then I slowly talked to him every single day. I had tears in my eyes when he called me and said, I am now a believer. With you as a tangible I guess that there are with the help of my Lord, it did change that individual to be one of his. We wanted to do something special to honor Ernie Koza. I remember him telling me when he got this letter last year all about it. So I thought, what a great idea. I reached out to some of our sponsors who are big military supporters. They were all on board. I was able to fly out the cars from Seattle, Washington, and they're here with us for the weekend. It took a long time for the seed that Ernie's planted in 1970 to take, uh, to take hold. And when it did, I became, uh, I became baptized, and as I accepted uh, the Lord as my Savior, I decided it would be time to go back and find the seed planter and thank him. And that started the search, and I found him and uh, wrote, him a, wrote him a letter thanking him for planting the seed, reminded him of his value in my life and how important it is for me to find him and thank him. <laughs> All right, Mike. Our sponsors, JCPNL, Isla Frigero, Bristol Glen, Sparta Cancer Center, and our title sponsor once again, we love you guys in Connecticut, steeldealers.com. Don't forget to check out their display here. More to come after this. Real people, steal people. From full-time professionals to weekend warriors, they trust steel and servicing steel dealers. Right now, hardworking steel blowers start at $139.95 and legendary steel chainsaws start at $179.95. Find your steel dealer at steeldealers.com or search S-T-I-H-L. Real people, steal people. Join us. Where dedication is a tradition, a helping hand in a time of need. The family that's brought you comfort for over a century. I live for Gerald. When the power goes out, many of us rely on cell phones. At JCPNL, we've added new tools to help you stay connected. We now offer text messaging, alerts, a smartphone app, and mobile website. Use text messaging to view your account balance, report an outage, or check the status of an outage. Visit our 24-7 power center for outage information in your town or log into your account. Don't wait for the next storm. Sign up now to receive alerts. To learn more, visit jcp-l.com connect. Senior living has never been better. Bristol Glen is now United Methodist Communities 
and the residents love living there. I enjoy the people. I really like the staff who work here. They're friendly, they're, they're kind, they're always ready to help when you need help, uh, and I feel safe here. I have enjoyed my living here. It's been a home away from home. United Methodist Communities is a proud sponsor of the Muggs Media coverage of the New Jersey State Fair, Sussex County Farm and Horse Show. For more information, visit umcommunities.org or call 973-300-5788. Sparta Cancer Center, the only advanced oncology center in Sussex County. The Sparta Cancer Center is able to provide uh, comprehensive cancer services to anybody who has been diagnosed with cancer and the key is that we offer these services to the local community so that people don't have to travel far to get excellent comprehensive care. The most satisfying, I would say, is really just seeing the patients through the treatments and then seeing them when they come back fully recovered and basically leading their normal lives and getting back to the way they were before all this started. Sparta Cancer Center, 89 Sparta Avenue, Suite 130. Treated right here. I love wine mugs. And I gotta be honest, after kids I love it even more. You have to have a glass of wine at the have end of the to. night. Have to, have to. I mean, some uh, some nights I feel up to a red, other nights it's a white, but either way, wine is good for the heart and for the soul mugs. You agree? Absolutely. I love when you have a glass or two of red wine. Your teeth get all red. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah they do. Yeah, I know. <laughs> you you <laughs> get crazy I on red stammer, wine. You, know? you do, you I get crazy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, listen, I'm not just talking for about wine for no reason. There are the wine awards here. You know that? Uh, yeah, we covered that already. Yeah. Well, so here we go, mugs. What happens is we get the samples in. We categorize them in certain categories and then split them into flights. Then I get a panel of certified judges. There's usually four or five panels, four judges on each panel. They go through each one of the wines and they judge it according to the UC Davis has a scoring system. American Wine Society has a modified UC Davis system. Unlike Wine Spectator and Wine Enthusiast and Rosenberg Parker, who use a 100 points system, we use a 20 point system, which includes appearance, it includes aroma and bouquet, taste and texture, aftertaste, and the overall impression. Everything is objectively done, except the overall impression is a subjective. Um, from there, you give point schedules to the wines, what happens is the wines are judged, anything typically under 11 is usually not commercial quality. Anything 13 to 15 is typically a bronze, 15 to 17, 17 5 is a silver, and 75 and above is a gold. A lot of people still don't even know that New Jersey makes great wine. And that's why I want today, they're gonna try this wine here, the Palmaris. May I be the first to try that? Sure. All right. Why not, folks, right? 2013. All right, thank you, Danny. One of the best wines. Bottoms up, Sussex County. Bottoms up, America. Cheers, Cheers to whoever you're voting for. All right, yeah. Nikki Morville for Freeholder. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> you think I get elected? You get some votes. I get a few votes, you know, maybe. I think you, I think you probably just on your name and note alone probably get about six or seven thousand votes. George will make up signs for you. Yeah. You would campaign. You George would campaign for George me. George, yeah, you and George would run. As a, George a would, George would win. Yeah. But he wants to stay low with political stuff. Right. Not his, his yes, thing. Right. You know. They gotta stay neutral. Yep. That. You know, we know who how George and, feels. And you want to so know what? George. With me, I don't know. I'm not. I'm not really. My my politics is love. That's oh. it. Peace, love, and Woodstock. <laughs> <laughs> what else is going on in the show, Mug? Are we done? Yeah, I think we're done. Are we? Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's thank our sponsors one more time. JCPNL, Sparta Cancer Center, I Live for Giro, Bristol Glen, SteelDealers.com, our title sponsor for the seventh year running from the New Jersey State Fair wow. for my good friend Nikki Morville. We bid you a hearty good night.